Today I'm going to show you how to download data from your Kaggle kernel that you have been working with. So, uh, of course, if you have a data set that you're interested on Kaggle, you can download uh, files right from the data sets listing. But if you want to do some additional work, maybe some data cleaning in kernels and then, uh, or notebooks, and then download it later, this is how you can do it. So here I've been doing a bunch of data cleaning and I have this uh, data frame here, DF columns of interest that I am interested in and I want to download it. So to do that, I'm first going to write it to a file. So I'm gonna run this cell. Uh, here I'm using the write CSV package, uh, write CSV function from the tidyverse package in R, but you can use whatever you like to write it to your local file. Uh, and then over here in the sidebar, which was collapsed and I opened, you can see I have this output file, Kaggle slash working. Uh, this top file is actually a, uh, a picture that I made earlier, uh, a, a picture uh, of the graph output that I have produced earlier. So you can see it right here and it's also been saved in my current working directory. And then uh, this data file is the one that I created here writing this data frame uh, and I can download it and then work on it in my local computer or send it to somebody or do whatever I like with it. Uh, the other way to get this file is to hit commit, wait for the commit to run top to bottom, go to the committed version of the kernel uh, or the notebook and then download it from the output section. Um, so if you also want to share somebody with somebody all the code that you use to um, create a particular data file, that might be a better option. If you just want the data file, uh, downloading it over here from the uh, data tab is probably going to be a little bit faster. So that's how you download data from your Kaggle kernels. Uh, I hope this was helpful and I will see you on Kaggle. Bye.